Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. All right, when Donald Trump blurted out drill, baby, drill at the recent CNN town hall debate, the crowd went wild. Remember? Take a listen. If elected president again, what is the first thing you would do to help bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Drill, baby, drill. All right, there you have it. U.S. energy independence and world energy dominance were key successes in Mr. Trump's first term. There was virtually no inflation, interest rates low, and along with tax cuts and deregulation, the moribund Obama economy at least came to life for a few years. Now, that was then. This is now. Joe Biden has waged war on fossil fuels for two and a half years, doing everything he can to shut down the spigots. So inflation reemerged, rising 15 percent, energy up 33 percent, groceries up nearly 20 percent. Now, energy is not the only inflationary source, but Mr. Trump has the overall story basically right. Now, last night at the Sean Hannity town hall meeting, the former president repeated his Biden attack. Take a listen. So we were energy independent. Think of it three years ago. And what people, what people don't know is that we have, I call it liquid gold, because it's gold, it's better than gold. We have liquid gold under our feet more than any other nation, more than Saudi Arabia, more than Russia. We're energy independent. Within six months, we would have been energy dominant. And we were going to sell energy to Europe and lots of other places. And we were going to make so much money doing it because it's such a big world. You know, it's such a big business. It's all encompassing. And that's what started the inflation. I mean, the, the energy, we stopped drilling, and all of a sudden, uh, gasoline's going up to 5 $6 a gallon in a car. All right, very hard to argue against any of that. Now, here's some good news on this front. Americans appear to be rebelling against Biden's radical left Green New Deal opinions. Those things have, by the way, inflicted great pain on the economy. They've jacked up inflation and interest rates. And they've caused real take-home pay for middle-class, blue-collar working folks to decline for over two years straight. A recent poll sponsored by the Committee to Unleash Prosperity shows that 79 percent agree we shouldn't make energy more expensive. Only 19 percent disagree. That same poll shows that 70 percent of uh, 77 percent of respondents don't want to be forced into purchasing electric vehicles. Only 23 percent want an EV mandate. And finally, when asked how much would you personally be willing to pay each year to address global warming, the median response was $20. Yeah. <laughs> Biden, of course, is spending trillions. Pollster Mike McKenna notes that all these responses are moving away from the Biden war against fossil fuels. But there's even some more good news. The scourge of ESG may be coming to an end. ESG, of course, is short for environmental, social, and corporate governance. It's a left-wing rallying cry embodying radical climate change, as well as far-left investment and even cultural issues. So at recent shareholder meetings for big oil, ESG supporters got whooped. At both meetings for ExxonMobil and Chevron, shareholders defeated a bunch of proposals to cut greenhouse gas emissions or put out new reports on climate benchmarks or disclose oil spill risks. Last year, those proposals were very popular. Indeed, ExxonMobil was forced to put three greenies on their board. And incidentally, similar climate proposals got whooped at annual meetings in London for BP and Shell. And big investment companies like Vanguard and BlackRock are now finally pulling back. And SEC regulatory proposals that would practically dictate that companies run on the basis of climate are in disfavor. And just recently, a leading Federal Reserve governor made a hard-hitting speech saying the Fed's job is monetary and financial stability, not policing climate change. And as the Russian war in Ukraine continues to rage, even Europe is now changing its tune on fossil fuels. They've made natural gas a legitimate and acceptable clean-burning fuel. So 
Let's hope the tide is, in fact, turning. Because if it does, and common sense policies are restored, America will be more prosperous with far less inflation.